Hello YouTube family. Fortunately I have some more sad news. Saturday, May 6th in Allen, Texas. A gunman pulled up to a crowded parking lot for the mall and opened fire, killing eight people and injuring seven others. And I really want to talk about this because this is something that's really touching my heart and it's close to my heart about this amount of mass shootings, the amount of people that they think had mental health issues and what we can do to try to combat this in the future. So let's get started. Now what I'm going to do today is I'm going to read word for word what has been wrote about this situation. What we know about the deadly Allen, Texas mass shooting. More details are coming to light about the mass shooting at an outlet in Allen, Texas on Saturday when a gunman opened fire, killing eight people and wounding seven others. Authority have, have now released the names of some of the victims while evidence suggests the gunman held far-right extremist beliefs. The suspect was identified as 33-year-old Mauricio Garcia, according to the Texas Department of Public Safety. Garcia was killed by police. Saturday's attack is considered to be the second deadliest mass shooting of 2023, according to data from Gun Violence Archive. Here's what we know about the Allen, Texas outlet mall shooting. The victims that were killed range from age three to 37. In a statement Monday afternoon, the Texas Department of Public Safety said it had positively identified the victims in Saturday's attack. The agency added that it would not release the identities of anyone younger than 18, nor any victims who are injured under 18. The victims have been identified as Kayo Song Cho, male 37, of Dallas. Sydney Cho, female, age 35, of Dallas. An 11-year-old female of Saish, Texas. An 8-year-old female of Saish, Texas. A male, age 3, of Dallas, Texas. Christian LaCour, male 20 years old, of North Nevada, Texas. Elio Cummins Rivas, male, 32, of Dallas, Texas. Aswara Shikakona, female, age 26, of McKinney, Texas. Please excuse me if I got any of the names wrong. I apologize. The Houston office of South Korean Consulate told the Dallas Morning News that one of Kyo Song Cho and Sydney Cho's children was also killed in the shooting. Hmm. The Cho family was at the mall for a day that should have been filled with light, love, and celebration, but ended in terrible tragedy, according to a GoFundMe campaign started for the family. Christian LaCour, 20, a security guard at the mall, was described by his sister, Brianna Smith, as a sweet, caring young man who was loved greatly by our family, according to an interview with CNN. Ajrara, the Takana was killed while visiting the mall with a friend, according to Dallas TV station. The 26-year-old was an engineer who lived in McKinney, Texas, while her family resided in India. A family representative told the station her family plans to have her body sent to India for a proper burial. At the time of his death, officials say Garcia was wearing a patch with the acronym RWDH, which stands for Right Wing Death Squad. The same patch was worn by a Proud Boys member who pleaded guilty to CDS conspiracy during the January 6th attack on the Capitol. However, NPR has not seen any evidence leaking Garcia to the Proud Boys. Social media accounts that appear to belong to Garcia told neo-Nazi and white supremacist views. His victims were mostly people of Korean and Indian descent. 
People say they are interviewing the Garcia family, friends, and neighbors to see what else they can learn about him and what led to this fatal attack. Mental health is real, people. And I know people think that everybody that does stuff doesn't have a mental health issue. And that's true. But just think about this for a second. Anybody that goes to a crowded mall parking lot on a Saturday afternoon and gets out their car with an AR-14 and start AR-15, excuse me, and start shooting and killing people has some type of component there, and there's something neurologically wrong with that individual. There has to be. They don't know the people. This is not about vengeance. This is not about what somebody did to him or anything. Just a random senseless act of violence. This is May 9th, 2023. Since January 1st, 2023, we have had more mass shootings in the United States than there's been days in this year. There's only been 123 days in this year so far. And we have had 199 mass shootings. And for those who don't know, a mass shooting consists of fatalities of four or more people. It's considered a mass shooting. People, we have to start taking mental health more seriously. If you have anyone in your family that you even see any signs that they might not be doing what they normally do, they're depressed, they're withdrawn, they're spending a lot of time in their room, you know, doing whatever they're doing, they're not interacting well with the public, things like that, they're very outspoken and have loud outbursts and things like that, there could be a mental component involved somewhere. Especially somebody that you already know has mental health issues, that may be taking medicine, that may be doing those things. Now, most people that are have mental health that are taking medicine, the, the medicine kind of calms them to a certain degree and keeps them at an even kill. But there are those that stop taking the medicine totally 100%, do not go see a psychiatrist, do not see a therapist, do not see a doctor, and just assume that they'll be okay even though they have been diagnosed with a mental illness. If you have any of these people in your family, take heed to what you're seeing on the news. That's why I'm doing this video. It wasn't supposed to be this video today, but I just kept seeing this over the weekend and I decided that I was gonna make a video today on something else. But when I went to work today, I just kept thinking about this. So hopefully I help somebody by what I'm saying today. If you like anything I said in this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. And Libra Man is out.